everybody. Richie. Look at that. Hi. How lovely to see you. I love Listen, seeing you. I, I love, it's lovely to see you. And I'm so sorry. I said that your show was on ABC, but it's not on ABC. No, it's on NBC, but that, that's, that's okay. Yeah, they're so, much you know, the same to letters. me. But I, the, it, it's good, though. It's really good. <laughs> Thank I, you. No, I really like it. And I, even though it's on NBC, I like it. <laughs> and it's getting better. I mean, what's, I like each episode more than I like the last episode. Me too, and but I, you're in them. I'm I just know, watching. But, I, but I'm a fan. I do. I sit there and I wait for it like a, like a crazy, you know, compartmentalized person. Well, that's, that's all right. That's in show okay. business, that's popular. <laughs> I, I watch it. It reminds me a little bit of the uh, Sex and the City show. Is it, is it like well, that? Well, Candace Bushnell wrote, wrote it. She wrote Lipstick Jungle as oh, well as Sex right. and the City. So, the, the, you know, in the backdrop of New York and, and the sort of the fabulousness of it. No, I like it. And it's you and your two friends mm -hmm. and you're, you're the head of a studio. And then you've got your teenage daughter. And you, she thinks you're using her to, you know, appear more human to the... You're the, so sweet. Oh, no, you really I'm watching watch this show. I, I really do it. watch well, it. Well, it's also, it appeals to ma the male audience Because the ladies well. take their clothes well, exactly. off. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Even on NBC, help yourself. I. Um, we went from a nine o'clock show. Here. Give to that a good rub. Home. Yeah, yeah. Um, we went from a nine o'clock show to a ten o'clock show, and yeah. that meant just more underwear. I have mean, you, it, I, it's just, yeah. I've had to like do love scenes and and get tanned and waxed from head to toe. Can you, can you say that again a yeah. little bit slower? <laughs> This is one of the greatest moments of my life. Uh, Just say it again slow. I, no, I... My husband gets very threatened I, when I, you I, call you me. You didn't even bring up your husband. No, because uh, when you, call, you called me, and so he'd be like, is that him again? Like, why is he calling you? And yeah. he's very threatened. So that's, you I know. know. I'm sorry. That's, I, I don't, you know, I, I talk, I sing your praises all the time. No, you best not. Just he, randomly. He, will, he won't like that. He will, does, I have, did like, your, did, your, did your husband have a problem with you doing the sexy? Craig. And, sorry. That's what I do. I just oh, sing, really? uh, randomly just say your you name. You don't want to do I that at the wrong time. Yeah, you. You know, I, he hasn't seen a lot of them yet, and I don't think um, I don't think he. I think he would get a little ill. Yeah, no, um, I know. It, it would be rough. Uh, well, and it, they're graphic. I mean, there's there we do as much as you can on network television, but still at that. Well, we I mean, do as much as you yeah, can. Yeah, you on do. That. <laughs> no, no. So, but you actually, I mean, you, 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 does it make you nervous? All that, what taking, was that? you know, what taking is, your clothes off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was what pretending. Was that? I was hoping you would think I work out. <laughs> <laughs> so do you ever? No. Ah, ah, I can't find my beach ball, bro. <laughs> it's you know, they're none of them are comfortable. Those scenes. I mean, there's some, you know, twelve like you know, grips and electricians and camera guys around, and you've got stuff taped places, and you know, they that's have, like they new have sex a, for me. Well, that's that. <laughs> That's what I like to have. They have this thing called the triangle of shame. Triangle of shame? And actually, you just put everything in it. Really? He the... had to do it. Yeah, the guy that plays my husband had to, and he was like, I've never worn a triangle of shame before. I was like, I don't know, I don't know what I'm you're talking about. I'm just getting a visual on I know, this. and I, it's, it's You were shocking. talking, let's see how can I, the, a kind of silence of the lambsy type <laughs> thing. Sort of. You know what I mean? Oh, they're just, but, finally, they're joining us. I know. Yeah. Well, because you have these scenes and they want you to look like you're nude, so you have to sort of cover up certain areas and tape hair down in other areas, and it's just, it's awkward and silly yeah, yeah. and bizarre, but... But it's worth a shot. We should but, try it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but you're... No, no, no. Now, how are things going? I mean, it must be quite a lot of work, actually, the, the hour-long show. It's with crazy. The, and you've got two kids? I've got two kids, and, right. um, and they, I mean, the hours are insane. It's like you know, right. 12, 14-hour days. And, but we're in New York, and it's actually remarkably easier to shoot in New York because we shoot a lot just in the city. I mean, New York itself is like another character in the yeah, show. Yeah, well, but don't New Yorkers get a little bit angry about you taking up their, you know... Even Yorkers. ten seconds of their damn time. Yeah, they yeah they secretly like it though. They're always a little angry about everything, so it's okay. Yeah, they are. It's true. <laughs> I used to live in New York for, and I I did. Did you live in New York before was, you did this thing? I was born and raised in Manhattan, actually. I yeah. did not know that. I thought you came from a tropical island. <laughs> Came from a tropical island and you discovered your sexuality and everything there. 
That's not really I had, what happened. I had a baby and just put it underwater. Yeah. Oh. Sort of. Um, no, I was born and raised in Manhattan, um, yeah. and I'm a true New Yorker. I mean, even though we, my husband and I, my kids live out here, we predominantly now I've moved everybody back to the city because. Do you miss the smell of pee pee when you're away from New York? <laughs> <laughs> Will you say that slower? <laughs> <laughs> ah, touche. Brooke Shields, everybody, we'll be right back. I must say, I've watched you since we were both teenagers. I, I used to really enjoy all your work and, and, you know, watch your sexy films. And now you're a best-selling author and, and a full-time professional, and I respect you. Is that your hand on my ass? Yeah. And it's respecting you. Nominees for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series are... Tonight is a very big star, star of the Lipstick Jungle Show, which is on Friday nights on uh, NBC. Brooke Shields, everybody. <laughs> I see oh, you. Oh, goodness. Thank it's you. True. You <laughs> Thank are just, you. look at you. You're adorable oh. and you're tall and you're <laughs> chilled, of course. Thank you. Yeah. And, you've, and you've grabbed my uh, ass, so. I have gra yes. I did, I grabbed your ass at the Emmys, yeah. Yes. Only because it was in the script. Exactly. Though. Yeah. I know, and you're a professional. And, and it was a script written by you, if you don't mind me saying so. <laughs> All right. I didn't actually, I didn't actually touch your ass during that. I don't know if you noticed. I actually just put my hand in the small of your back. No. No. <laughs> started there and then it went <laughs> it wasn't this it wasn't that it was right. just did this. it go all the way around to it the was a little, it was a little cupping cupping a little bit <laughs> i know <But> thank you <laughs> no thank you thank you for the rest of my life and thank you for being so great about the show about I mean, lipstick jungle now yeah, what's going uh, on well we're you know it's like i said when i called you right. and was texting you and um that we're not, I mean, they haven't told us we're cancelled. And when everybody thought we were, right. they were sending lipsticks and they were blogging. And, you know, the sets are still up. Um, right. Haven't, they haven't Girls told us. Girls are still we're, getting drunk. We're in still this, there. Yes. And we, we're still drinking. And it's, the, it's a very, it's the show's about, if, the folk, if, the, if they haven't seen it, the show's about uh, three uh, women of a certain age, perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, yes. a, a, no, certain, no, it's a certain good. young age. Uh, a certain okay, young age. Okay, good, thank you. Um, no, it's three women in New York. I mean, and, and uh, we, were, we do so well. We have such a huge audience, but people are not watching it live. They're watching it on DVR and TiVo. Oh, and welcome to my world. I, <laughs> and uh, so, you know, and then we've been moved to Fridays at 9, and then there's going to be two weeks where we're off. So I think it's, ha it's been really hard. But well, also, the, yeah, it's yeah. NBC. It's becoming the Jay Leno network I mean, that's now. You know, that's, it's all Jay Leno all the time. And I... <laughs> Golden Globes, Jay Leno, Golden, Golden Globes, Globes, Jay Leno. Leno. That's it. <laughs> exactly. That's it. That's it. But oh, didn't you have something to do with I Golden didn't, No, Globes? I was up, yeah, at 2.30 in the morning. We had to get up and get all dolled up and go do the announcements. It was uh, fun. I had never done that. I love the Golden Globes. I don't know if you caught the, the monologue today. I, 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 you know what? Uh, That's why I couldn't wait to talk to you about it because, because you're such you know a fan. I'm, I'm crazy for I them. I, <laughs> can't get me enough Golden, Golden Globes. Globes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, well, and what did you do? You made the announcement of who uh, was nominated? Yeah, we just they, they, we, were, we were each given a few categories, and we went, and, and it was really fun to sort of be there and That early stand in the morning and, and not be high. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or not have it be just a, a from the last night, continuing. Yes, I so know. So it was I, nice, I, I actually. <laughs> but no, it was fun, it was, yeah. and it gave me an opportunity to come here and see you. So and I'm, I'm very fun. happy that you came, because I want to talk to you about, because you shoot the Lipstick Jungle in New York. We're in New York, yeah. Yes, so I don't the, see you anymore. No, and that's, I've tried so many times to come back out and do yeah, yeah. your show. And d d are you enjoying New York City? I love are it. you from there? I'm born and raised. Ah, born and raised. I see, I'm yeah. such a New Yorker. And I, you, and, you enjoy know, the smell of pee-pee and pizza? I love it. And 
You asked me that the last time, and, and I, it hasn't changed. I still love it. No, it's fantastic. <laughs> and, and, and your kids are there now, right? They're yeah. there now. Yeah. They're in school there. And, um, you know, it was a bit of, not even really that much of an adjustment, but it was a bit sort of shocking to just bring everybody to New York. And, but what will, but happen been, if, what will happen if they do catch the loser? God forbid, well, will you come back or will um, you stay in New York? Yeah, we're kind of, I can't really take her out of school. So right now we're doing that. But she has sort of picked up some, um, some, some good New York language. Really? My daughter, yeah, for at five and a half. Oh! Yeah. What language would that be? Remember, okay. this is CBS. Okay, but so I can, and it's late, so I can sort of say anything. You say anything. So she, like. my five-year-old, she's sitting in the back of the car, and we were we were just driving out of the city, and she all of a sudden says, oh, "I want my window down." <laughs> at which point, uh, I became like, I became like Botox face. I was like. I don't know what you mean. Do you want your window down, honey? Sure. It's like, I was like, I can't make any, can't do it, can't do it. No. So we're having a play date, and this very prominent woman, very wealthy, lovely, comes over to t pick up her daughter. Right. And they're playing in the, my kid's room, and the, Rowan looks at her, and <laughs> not missing a beat, she goes, what the f are you doing here? Okay. <laughs> at which point then, I'm like, in cardiac arrest, and I'm, I, I, there's no way to explain it, and she, she actually turns around, and she goes, oh. Oh. <laughs> Face over there. You just have like, to push oh a button, God. right? Don't yeah, you just no. have to push a button that just no, shuts he's me not up the button or something? Guy. No, he <laughs> answer, he answers to the button guy. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. There was like four in there, huh? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, there, okay. There was more than that. And guess what? Dude, <laughs> it was awesome. Get out of here! Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so he, um, but she didn't actually learn it from me. Uh, Brooke, I've I known know, you a long time. Know, she did learn that, it from you. No, you find that hard to believe. She actually learned it from my mother. That's why I'm also in therapy. Ah. Uh -huh. I'm also not meaning you are, but no, no, that's I, why I'm also in therapy. Yeah, of course. I, I'm not in therapy <laughs> of at all. Of course not. You yeah, don't believe you in can that. Tell. No, you don't need it. Everybody else is crazy. Oh, my Lord. Are you in therapy, really? <laughs> I, yeah, I go. I mean, I've yeah, gone for too, years. I, I love it. So I nice. like it, too. Is it dream therapy you do? Um, no, it's it's not dreamy at all. <laughs> it's just a hard, cold Is facts. it just the talking with yeah, the, uh, the Austrian the... guy with uh, smoking a pipe going, tell me about your don't childhood? Is that kind of no, no, it's more eclectic. It's, you know, it's fine. But honestly, I... I learn more from my daughters just in their way of sort of handling things. I remember that when my son was born. I think about two or three minutes after we, he was born, I forgave my parents for everything. <laughs> really? And yeah. You suddenly go, oh, God, I get it. Exactly. Yes, of course. But these, these kids, they just, they do really, they learn so much and they're so clear about it and they teach you so much. Do you, you get um, colds and flus all the time? Because when my son was very young, all the time. Oh, yeah, they, they would bring the, the... And they go to school now, so it's, right, it, we're, exactly. we're just a Petri dish. We're just a hotbed of, of germs. No, that's... That's, that's, that's not pretty. Well, you want to come back to California with sunny well, and I things are nice. Well, I get to see you more. We could hang know, out. Could, yeah. yeah. No, but I, I yeah. you know, I mean, again, it's... It's really hard. I love LA. It's been great for me. And but to be able to be working in the city in New York, it's just it's so great to go back. Do you do kids, your Christmas you can do your Christmas shopping. Have you done that? I, I'm already see when, once my show did stop filming, right. I became completely my normal type A self and just did everything. The, they're all out, the gifts are out. I became super mom. I, I, didn't I get mine yet. Gave I don't know where, it. It's, it's, it's in the mail. All right, okay, because <laughs> it, my... it is. You're gonna get something. I'm gonna get a press, really? Yes. <laughs> Really? It's, yeah, it's not you mean. <laughs> that kind of a present. What, what is it? <laughs> they have these bags now, I saw, that, that have an alarm. If you go to the bag before Christmas Eve or Christmas, it sends off this alarm, so you can't even open up the presents if you wanted to. So, so I, gonna, have, I have to wait till Christmas to, to get wait. my presents? You have to wait till Christmas to get your presents, said the actress to the, the bishop. bishop. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Brick Shields, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> movie looks like it's gonna be great. Brooke Shields, everybody! Brooke Shields. I hope you are. I, first of all, let me compliment you on your appearance. You look sensational. Thank you. Sensational. Um, Proud of you, and I love you. 
like your neck. You, you like, I, I like this is, seeing this your is my neck. protest. Oh, uh, yes, it yeah. must be. And I, you've got a great neck. So. Thank you. I'm, I'm known for it. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, anyway. No, cool look, I, I just, I suddenly went like that. I realized because you're you and I haven't seen you for a while and you're very beautiful and I find you attractive, I just went. <laughs> We've never had a hard time before. No, I know. That's why. <laughs> No, 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 never mind the hairy sausage stuff. That wasn't the name of my movie, it's Furry Vengeance. Furry Vengeance, yeah, that's hairy right. Sausage. Yeah, not hairy sausage. <laughs> hey, no, no, Brendan was here earlier in the week, he was talking yes. about it. it. What happens, the forces of nature attack you or something? Uh, we move into the town. Right. And we, Rocky Springs, and we are going to develop on what we don't know really is protected forest. And oh. the animals are pissed off. And they seek revenge and they humiliate my husband, played by Brendan. Now, is there any point in the movie does someone say, you moved the tombstones, but you didn't move the bodies? Is it like that? <laughs> no, no, not, not quite. And we don't have that furry, that furry pig either. But oh, this pig, we, yeah. Um, yeah. This, we... uh, this pig is modeled uh, 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 on uh, the French writer Gustave Flaubert. Ah, yes, very much. I recognized him. Yeah, Flaubert, like this pig, had a contempt for the bourgeoisie. <laughs> How do you feel about the bourgeoisie? Are you oh, all right I'm with them? Very comfortable. Oh, well, that's very, nice. very comfortable. Well, you're going to be happy around CBS then. <laughs> Absolutely. So anyway, so the animals. Um, the there's animals a attack. Green theme. The animals attack. They. We don't know that they're, they're attacking him, and he is basically. He looks like he's going insane, and so he sets up these traps that he wants to kill them. He wants to. He wants to get the main raccoon, who's the, who we didn't work with, by the way. We had a completely. We worked with stuffed animals. Me too. I know. <laughs> You should have been in this movie. It would have been perfect. Anything to get out of here. Exactly. <laughs> no, no. We had no technical difficulties on our. Well, you did. Well, okay, so in the movie, can I just? You, I've been distracted by your ring. I'm sorry. It's <laughs> look at the size of this oh, sucker. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Right. And so, but you don't work with the animals. So, so how do could you do your acting with you? Um, well, I uh, worked with Ken Jong. That's that that trained me. Um, Brendan and I had to look at little X's and little um, stuffed animals, and we just had to, you know. He always says too, if you believe it, the audience will believe it. Right. And we didn't use, we did not have talking animals, which was very key because we didn't want a talking animal movie. Right. And we um, there was a bit of CGI that's done sort of after. There's a dance sequence that all the animals do, and every now and then they would go, ooh, ah. But they film well, them. Well, animals do that though sometimes. Well, they do. Well, on that's the thing. <laughs> I've, I've heard there are animals in my backyard and they're kind of... That's what, yeah. we wanted them to kind of be real and right. so they filmed them 24-7, you know, and they would wait for the raccoon to, you know, go, oh, and then they'd run in and they'd do, be like... Do raccoons ever do that? They do. They That's do adorable. They do unbelievable things. Who is it? Only the gay ones. <laughs> gay raccoons? Only gay raccoons. Look at the oh. state of this place. Um, Brooke, are you wearing this? Oh, God. Mm. So... They uh, they would do that and then they'd bring the, the video in and we'd be, they'd be like, look, does this work for the scene you just did? And so we were, otherwise we'd still be there filming. Wow. Yeah, it was. That's it, a complicated way to make an animal movie. Maybe can't you just use a puppet or something? Well, we had a puppet at one point right, that right. I'm sure Brendan ta told you about. No, he did. Little, he, he, I couldn't get a word out of him. Oh, I yeah, think, that's true. No, it's really hard was, to get in a word in a he, How he many was Red Bulls? I think when he was. No, he, Red Bull. Red Bull. Red Bull, is, is that thing. what it was? But he had little, these little paws attached to chopsticks. And so there's a close up and he's just punching himself in the face and of course you know no one really wanted to do it because they didn't want to punch him and do it so of course he did it himself. I'd punch him. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff would punch him, Jeff would punch him right in the face. Jeff exactly. wanted to punch him when he was here. Yeah, he was, he, he was very, um, it was fun working with him because you never knew what he was going to do. When and did he, you make it? Did you? Uh, we were in Boston. We were Boston? actually in Massachusetts. Oh, I love we were Boston. There. Oh, it's great. And we it's were there a, a good city. part of the summer. I go there every summer. Do you really? I do. I do the 4th of July thing on Boston Common every summer. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, no, it's, it's very really nice. It's really beautiful. And they had the, all the boats come in. They had the, the sort of antique boat, all the really ancient boats. At the Esplanade, really. right? That's where we have it. Yeah. And lots of beer which made me happy. They have beer in Boston, Lots yes. Lots of beer, a lot of microbreweries in, yeah. in Boston. Do you enjoy the fireworks? I do enjoy the fireworks, Then you should come Greg. to the 4th of July thing. Are you inviting me? Yeah, sure. I'll come with yeah, you. Yeah, you want to come? Oh, you'd will, love it, yes. Are you okay with that? Okay, yes. Because I'm going to tag America's along. sweetheart like... and America's helper? Yes. <laughs> 
love fireworks so much. Oh, I you should see. I'm so happy with oh, fireworks. Oh, no, you should see this thing in the 4th of July. It's crazy. It's got to be extraordinary. It's I mean, I'm used to New York because we live in New York. But, right. And that's that's an amazing, amazing show. But I can't even imagine. I will. No, we didn't. We didn't. We missed them this year. No, no, you, you got it. It's fantastic. I And the, uh, the what else about Boston do I like? Um, cream pie? Cream pie. Yeah. Boston cream pie. And uh, the soup <laughs> with the fish in it. The, the f fish soup. Yeah, fish, fish soup. soup. Yeah, that yeah. would be fish soup, probably. No, no. What's it called? Um, again? Bisque chowder. Uh, chowder. Yeah, yeah. Chowder bisque. Yeah. Yeah, chowder bisque. <laughs> I used to dance under that name. <laughs> lot of previous careers. You know, didn't you? I tell you, this <laughs> this show is at the end of a long line of failures. <laughs> uh, fail, 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 I fail. I beg fail. to differ on hey, that. Hey, by one. the I way, totally yeah. can I tell you how I am still pissed about the end of Lipstick Jungle, oh, which I love. You. Thank you. Thank you. What I happened? loved it. You know? I mean, this yeah, game is on. They no. didn't know. You know, advertisers were mad that we were like number one in TiVo, and because everybody fast forwards through the commercials, and all uh, the advertisers pull their money out, and they switched us around. I mean, it's a real shame. We were all really sad. About uh, yeah, it. I bet because it was really good. And I, you know, I think what happened is, didn't Jay Leno want to be one of the girls? That so. was the problem. <laughs> That was it, and there were four. They were yeah, too there many, were and then too many, one of the girls had to go to TBS, and that oh. was like crazy. The bidding wars on that—it was embarrassing, yeah. and that we had to wear the same wardrobe and all that. Did you, know? you really? <laughs> the girl, well, the girls, we all, you know, I mean, it, it was really hard because in the beginning of this of this season, the first time, they only would give us samples, oh. and the samples like fit my pinky. Okay, so uh, we couldn't, I mean, we were stuffing ourselves into these dresses. Yeah, that's what and I then, liked about it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then as the show went on, you know, they finally started giving us, like, dresses and stuff in our size. But we, we missed the show, and I miss being in New York. I mean, my kids were in New York. We were all in, you know, we, they're going to school there. I was able to work, have a job and a life. So it was, well, it was, you know, you'll be, able, you'll be able to go back. Yeah. you got money. <laughs> I live in New York. Oh, you live in yeah, New York? Yeah, I do. I live in New York. York. Yeah, so well, we're, we're living so there. So you we just, better get back then. I'm well, I'm going to. I'm going to leave you. I came here for this, and then I'm getting on the red eye. I'm going back to New York. You're going to uh, red yeah. eye tonight? Yeah, I'm going to go. You get you fly like normal people in a regular plane? Just normal people. Yeah. Uh, except do you, do I, you sit at the back of the plane or the front of the plane? I, wherever I could get the seat. Uh, Whoever's <laughs> paying. <laughs> Depending on who's paying for the ticket, it depends on where I am in the plane. <laughs> CBS aren't paying for your ticket, are they? Because it's going to be a very I'm long on the wing. red eye. Yeah. <laughs> Stand by, passenger Brooke Shields, come to the desk. Yeah. Hey, we got, it's lovely I'm to serving. see you. Good luck Thank with you. the movie. Lovely Brooke Thank Shields, you. everybody. Thank you. The Amundsen Theatre here in Los Angeles. It opens uh, September the 11th. Please welcome the lovely Brooke Shields, everybody. Brooke Shields. Been rehearsing at the Aha Amundsen. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Worry, right? No, yeah. that you. No, as long as you've been at the Amundsen Theatre, you're fine. The Aha. No, I said that I should be worried because that's I've been at the Aha. Oh, you have been at the Aha. I was wondering why there was they must so have little changed wardrobe. Their policy. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I'll go and see it anyway. Okay. Um, you look lovely in your lovely green dress, but what's this? Thank uh, you. Thing? Yes, it's the latest. I uh, I broke my hand. I broke my hand during rehearsal. So. Oh no. Yeah. So it's uh, yeah. It's Is kind it of... a kung fu play? Of no, sorts? I uh, <laughs> I play a waitress. Oh. I mean that screams danger, right? Well, it depends. Uh, <laughs> was it, was it, did you have your hand in a hot skillet? <laughs> no, um, there is a it's a leap of faith is is the play, and there's a moment where I sort of kick over a chair and do this whole sort of little dance number, and, and it was a very heavy, heavy chair, and it sort of kind of bent my finger all the way back, and of course. Yeah, I don't like being sort of high maintenance, so I was sort of like, I'm just going to be fine. I'm fine with it. I'm fine. So I was walking around for about two and a half, almost three weeks in excruciating pain because I didn't want to be high maintenance. No. <laughs> and um, evidently, I am a doctor. Right. And, yeah. Um, I, I went at medical school. They said to uh, walk around for three weeks. Yeah, that's so was, that's the, that really uh, gets it in a good. Yeah. You could have ended up with no, a claw. No, I know. I know. <laughs> Which actually, for some acting, would be great. I know. I mean, yeah, yeah. It was good. 
no, but so then I finally went in and I just got the cast off today, so. All right. So it's all. Are you, uh, all, are you right handed or left handed? I'm right handed. Oh, I see. So, so, I've been doing so things have been everything. quiet. Yes. Uh, very quiet. <laughs> boring. My husband's really upset. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, hey, you know. You can say that on me, No, you can say I'm just going to say, Tyson doesn't do much during the day. He can maybe make it over. I'll give you my husband's yeah, number. Yeah, you go. Wax the dude, you know. He's still practicing up yeah, there. No, yeah, he's, <laughs> Actually, he's getting a bit mad at me, I think. I, I, I yeah. Probably, he probably is. Now, but tell yeah, me about so the play. It's, uh, is it? it's from the movie. It's it the is that movie. Martin the Steve Martin movie? movie. Yeah. And it's, I think it was like 1990, and it's um, it's our version of it is, you know, it's not, um, it's more about faith than it is religion. It's a fable. It's beautiful. Uh -huh. It's really moving. It's um. Does it's, it have uh, singing and dancing in it? All singing and all dancing. Yes, mm -hmm. lots so of it. It's, a really uh, good story. You vampires? should come. Do you have vampires. <laughs> Some blood and guts and vampires. Is there, is there any vampires? No, but there's there's definite um, need for redemption, I should say. And, yeah, but you gotta have vampires. I know. These, the kids love the vampires. I'll tell them, you know, when well, this is our this is considered our out of town because we're at the Ha Ha Amundsen, right? And um, we are then we hope to go to Broadway. And during this period, I've never originated before. I've well, only well, replaced. So what oh, they, on Broadway, you yeah, mean? Yeah. So right. they usually you know call me, and I've gone into some amazing characters, but I've never been a part of an original production. So oh, right. this period has been our work phase, and even during previews, they can change songs, they can change melodies, they can. So you it's mean they change it as they go as along? It is mind-boggling and terrifying. I can't even. Uh, uh, it's I do that. Acting. That's. <laughs> really how I yeah. hurt my hand. Um, but yeah, so there's, you know, one day Alan sort of came in and said, oh, well, yeah, Brooke, we're going to just change that song, you know. And, and I've you've been, learned the song. I've learned and it and yeah. I've said prayers about not, you know. Uh-oh. Hey! You can say that hey. on the show. Hey! Hey! hey. Oh, come on, the last time I was oh, bleeped oh, up. Oh. <laughs> come on, you're Brooke Shields. You're uh -oh. America's sweetheart. Don't come on here. I got up. This, I got up. Oh. Darn it, Brooke, you've down. just oh, made darn. me feel all persnickety. Ah, uh, <laughs> oh, jeez. Are you a, are you a cussor? You, you, got a uh, cat. you can't be cussing around the house. Do you not house. remember my last uh, time oh, on yeah, your yeah, show? No, you did, yeah, yeah. I don't, listen, I'm not, but my seven-year-old is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, my kids are, are, you know, they've they've learned a few things. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, the yeah, what I, are you gonna do? Well, probably try and keep it from them. Yes. Uh. <laughs> but they learned it from my mother. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's the great thing about being a grandparent, oh, isn't it? Yeah. it's so good. Come here, kids, I'm going to tell you a couple of words. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, kids are definitely, they, um, and now, you know, and now they're at the age where they sort of just, they, they, they fight a lot. They're always, they're fighting. They fight really? a lot. Really? What yeah. do they fight Four over? Well, oh God, I wasn't even going to say this. I, I should not say it. All right, well, so, <laughs> I let... I let them, I let, they shower, we've got a big shower, and so I said, all right, you know what, two birds with one, just go in there, both of you, just shower. I'm with I'm with you, four and seven. Fine. It's great. I get it. Every parent's sudden, like, yeah, wash them both at the same time. Yeah, yeah, whatever, yeah go, whatever. right. And so I'm, I'm ready to go, <laughs> to go to work, and the little one comes running out, hysterically crying, and she goes, she peed on me! <laughs> I was like, what do you do with that? I was like, honey, that's for when you're older. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Well, there's an innocence to it. You mustn't read. You mustn't read too much into it. It's just uh, uh, children playing. Just, yeah. yeah do you, any Go Germans ahead. in your family? Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I'm setting you up. I'm setting no, you up. No, no, um, no. It's all right. No, but they um they're uh, they've been they've been a little sad because I have been at rehearsal for for so long. And well, what happens if you go to Broadway though? You ship the whole family to New York. Well, we're we're based in New York. Actually. All right. So you shipped yeah. everybody out here for the rehearsal. They were here for the summer, right. and um, my daughter, my younger one, called, leap of faith is one word. So. She'll say, Mom, are you going to Leap of Faith? Oh. And I'll say, yeah. She goes, are you going to kiss somebody in Leap of Faith? Oh. And I said, well, yeah, I do. There's a little there's a little See, kissing. See, that she might said, bother them. Yeah. She goes, I think Daddy will not like it if you kiss in mm. Leap of Faith. <laughs> and uh, I was like, you know what? It's it's all for art. And um, and it's got music around it. So it actually, this it's very a, beautiful and romantic. <laughs> this is you talking to your husband or your kid? No. Just my husband. Okay. 
I, that's how I, I, know, I tell I mean, Chris things. That, I kind of. I wonder if that, if that, you know, if kids do that because it must upset them when they see their. They, you know. they actually they're more interested in how my husband is going to react. <laughs> you know, they're Seems sort of fair. Well, how does dead. he react? He's actually, I mean, when you have to do it nightly for a year, husband, and so he's, he's like, a comedy yeah, writer, fine, so he's like, it. okay, yeah, yeah. I'm the one she's going to co hopefully come home yeah. to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, yeah, no, he's all right. And this, this show in particular is so beautiful and such a sort of revelation for me with regards to being on Broadway. And um, again, we hope to go to Broadway, but um, it's... It's so unlike any other character that I've ever played. It's really? a very, very vulnerable, very, you know, all my other characters that I've played have always been, they've had accents or they've been in the 40s or there's been, you know, it's a costume. There's been a caricature. Bikinis. That I've... <laughs> Um, and and this is the first one that I've done that is really they're they're sort of custom making the music to fit my voice and my character That's and great. we're building and we change and rewrite the script and but it's I noticed something about myself and I was I Rob Ashford who's just such a delight and so unbelievably talented was trying to get me to go front center and you know, I've been sort of front center my whole life. Mm. I mean, that you know, mm. metaphor metaphorically, and <laughs> the right word? <laughs> metaphorisms. Um, and I, I was having a hard time sort of being front center in this, and because there's nothing to hide behind. For me, it's not, it's, um, again, it's very much like a fable, so the, the set is very sparse, and it's very moody, and I don't have a funny wig or an accent or something, and so this has been terrifying to me. It sounds fascinating, to, but you, 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 you must throw a couple of... But you're falling asleep, No, right? no, 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 no. You, you must get a couple of vampires in there, Okay, right? yeah. I, I, will, I will But this the leap of faith, and it starts at the AHA oh, Theatre on September 11th. The yeah. lovely Brooke Shields, everybody. Yeah. My first guest tonight is a beautiful actress. Uh, well, I didn't mean that, but uh, well, maybe I did. Uh, she's beautiful anyway. She she's directing Chicago this weekend at the Hollywood Bowl. Please, bowl. bowl. <laughs> that's, that's German. That's the, German. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the thing to do is to go to the Hollywood Bowl, get there, get a nice little tub of crack, and enjoy yeah. the show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely Brooke Shields, everybody. Brooke Shields. I'm, so, I'm sorry Hollywood for doing Bowl. that. I didn't mean it's to be just Hollywood Bowls. Holly, I, I, I didn't mean <laughs> to, right you know, I didn't mean to imply in any way. <laughs> it's the, that was the happiest moment of my life right there, that implication. Really? <laughs> you should go to Germany. Uh, they got a thing there of, oh, you're mine. <laughs> Hey, um, I, you're directing the show? I am. It's my debut, my directorial debut. Do you walk around in Jodhpur's with a writing crop and yes, go, everyone, and, over here, and quickly! And those big, horn, those big mega horns. Really? I just scream at people all the time. Who's in it? Who's doing it? Uh, Drew Carey, who you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stephen Moyer is playing Billy, Samantha Barks. We've got Lucy Lawless and Ashley Simpson. That's fantastic. It's an amazing group yeah, of people. Oh, and the ensemble great. is unbelievable. Yeah. It's great. Are you, are you happy about the directing thing? Is this a, is this a new career for you, directing theater? I don't know if it's going to be a new career, but I, I can see myself doing it again. But I was in Chicago for almost a year of my life. Right, of course. So you, yeah, yeah. you have to be that knowledgeable about a show, I think, before you can even direct it. And I'm no dummy. I have surrounded myself with talented people, uh, talented people That's and experts do. in all of the fields. And, you know, it was they asked me, Rob Fisher, who's our... Um, conductor and musical director and Leslie Stifelman, they, they said to me, they were like, listen, we've spent so many nights like with you basically in bottles of Put wine. Put your hand back in my leg. Good, uh... <laughs> this is why I come on this show. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know why you're here. Just get going. I know. There you go. 
Oh, 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 um, yeah. And uh, <laughs> that was like Comic Con all that over again, so right there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so uh, the, the, I don't know if I would do it again if I wasn't that intimately sort of in tune with the show. Well, and you, I've would, been... you would do that, though. If, you were, if, you, if someone said to you, all right, we're yeah. going to do Our Town, Brooke. You're going to direct Our Town. Then you'd go and you'd reread it and you'd learn right. about it and you'd uh, take it apart and put it back together. But also, when you're doing a show, we spent, you know, with that, when you're after the show, you should go out drinking. And, and I, the, literally, Rob said to me, he said, you know what, you've said so many times how many you've got all these ideas about the show and I'm talking I'm drinking and I'm just talking and he's like now's your chance yeah, yeah, here you go it, yeah, go yeah, for yeah. it but you... everybody's doing so well and they're learning the show in under two weeks wow and at the bowl we've had to augment the ensemble we've had to you know Chicago's a, a small show it's a, it's a little vaudeville act and we're right. having to now not perform for 900 people but for 10,000 people yeah, and they have people. they have worked so hard every single cast member every single ensemble we've doubled the ensemble and I got to Yeah, Carrie will let set. you down at the last minute, though. I know him. <laughs> no, he was the first one to want to come on. Yo, yeah, the first show. on, first off. That's uh, Carrie's thing. <laughs> no, but he's been great, and he, he is. was one of the first. He's sensational. He's one of he's my... And he's Amos, and he's very, very... He's, big. excuse me? Amos. Amos. <laughs> he's Amos. He plays Amos. Um, and he's very I'm sweet. not that familiar with the show. I just but thought, suddenly a... I went, maybe I should know more about this show. <laughs> and I... Uh, no, but he's been great, and everybody's been working so hard, and it's, you know, it's really, directing is, I, I thought I was going to sit there, and I thought, like, my ego would take over, and that I would really want to be out there doing it, mm. but um, I've been so pleasantly surprised. It's so much fun to have to talk about lighting and set design, and I got yeah, to help I do that. that. And that's, uh, that's so <laughs> you could do it. I saw a little dance move. I thought you'd, you'd be a great member Director? of our cast. Oh, no, yeah, member oh, of our cast. The cast? One of the, yeah, I could be the, the guy that leaves. <laughs> yeah, no, the guy comes on and goes, hey, there's trouble over here, and then run off, and then... <laughs> and uh, that, we had some of those. Yeah, I'll be that guy. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll I'll, where are you doing? I'll come, do, I'll come right. down and go, <gasps> and then run off. It'll Perfect. be fine. All right, I can find And then you can take it to Comic-Con next year. Absolutely. Have you ever been to Comic-Con? I have not. You should go. I, I will. I really I, enjoyed I it. Should, I would love to go. I think you'd really I've, like it. Really? I, yeah, I do. I was kind of surprised. It's crazy? I, I thought it was going to be a kind of cross between a a Ren Fair and a Dungeons & Dragons game or something. And it kind of is a little bit, but it's also, it's, it's really cool. Well, I also think when you've got that much passion for these projects, I mean, these people, it's their whole life. It's well, sort of they like, care about it, they yeah. They care, and I think that any time that happens, it's, it's something magical kind of does happen, even yeah. if it's crazy or and whatever. And then San Diego is lovely. you got the smooth jazz there. Do you like the smooth I, jazz? I love the smooth jazz. You like the Kenny G? I, the... I like the Kenny G. I like the smooth jazz. Do you really? I liked it. Not so much. Not so much me either. No. It's, I'm, I'm really trying to get into smooth jazz as I age, though. I feel <laughs> it. Wait, do you yeah. feel it's, that's like a rite of passage? Hold on a second. Really? Can you keep it quiet, don't What's going on? Come on. I'm trying to talk to you. Was that here. the Australian? Was that what it was? Or was it you, Mikey? It was oh, well, you? Oh, my. It's a te tennis ball holder. Oh, you tennis had a great idea for a joke holder. with tennis balls, and you knocked it over? <laughs> Proceed. <laughs> Thank you. See, uh, he's directing right now. Look what he's doing. He's directing. That. Yeah. Are you going to be dropping uh, tennis balls in front of the actors on your show, bro? That would be a cruel joke to me. That would be really cruel. Um, no, we're not. We're no. So Sorry. what I'm saying is, San Diego. Have you been to San Diego? I'm not. So I'm, you know what? Okay. I when when I was graduating from high school, I was an intern at the San Diego Zoo and took care of the animals. Which ones? I all of them. Baby really? lemurs. Baby and, lemurs. And, <laughs> One day, they, so one of them, I was in the nursery and like 12 or 13 had been born. And so they were they said, royal That's baby lemurs or just regular baby lemurs? They came out and little teeny birds flew out. Um, and, uh, see, I watched, I listened. Um, <laughs> and I, they said, look, you go in for the 5.30 a.m. shift, and all you have to do is feed them. But you have to feed them every hour, but every hour on the quarter, <laughs> quarter hour. So you have to feed them with little What, the baby drops. lemurs are like... Yeah, they're, they're like, come on already, come on. And uh, so they walk in, and it's the first time I'm opening up by myself. And I open up the place, and they're gone. They're absolutely gone. I can't find them anywhere. I'm like, oh, I'm going to get more. Oh, no, oh, no. no. Oh, and I went to go to go look in the um, which the like pamper where all the dirty clothes and dirty like 
the stuff it was. And the woman had thrown them all in the dirty hamper because she was cleaning, the, the lady was cleaning the stage. And so she sees me just ash and white and I'm crying. I'm like, I lost the lemurs, I lost the lemurs. And they were in the hamper and they were all just up there looking like, looking like this, like, I thought it was a cruel trick. Did you go in near any dangerous animals? Uh, Not that lemurs can't be dangerous sometimes if they don't get fed on the quarter hour. No worse than this. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> get out of there. Hey! Um, <laughs> that, I'm sorry. Uh, you went too far there, idea. didn't you? You went too far. There's the gutter. Yeah, yeah, you went. See, I, I didn't go that far, but you went that far. I know. Okay, come on. Uh, yeah, well, tigers. Um, tigers. You know, the, you know who were the were the um, the koalas were vicious. Really? So one, one of them was named Yuk. Get it? Eucalyptus. And um, eucalyptus. All oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and I was just thinking Comic Con names. And um, they had they had to put a cage over him, and he would follow you and try to eat, try to bite you. And oh yeah, to, like like, they're like little like little Chucky in that. Right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think my kids are worse though. Actually, my children can be more vicious than even Chucky. <laughs> you probably want to have them looked at then. <laughs> We're, we're, I, out of I, we're out of time. When me. does Chicago start? This, uh, this weekend, 26, 27, 28th at the Hollywood Bowl. And, and, and Drew Carey's in it. And, and, Duke, and, Drew Carey's and Drew Carey's in it. <laughs> but it'll be good. <laughs> Brooke Shields, everybody. We're right here. because I don't have a very expressive face. <laughs> but let me assure you, I am upset. <laughs> Steady. <laughs> no, I am. I'm upset. I'll tell you why. People have been writing in to CBS to complain about me. Oh. I know. <laughs> Apparently, they think that I'm meant to be for children. And then they hear me talking, and they're like, well, that rabbit's not for children. <laughs> that, that rabbit uses language that children sh probably shouldn't be hearing. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, and probably your children shouldn't be up at 12.30. <laughs> <laughs> How to raise your kids, ladies and gentlemen. How you do it is up to you. Within certain legal boundaries. <laughs> but I have to say that, you know, the warning that that this show might not be for children is because it's called the <laughs> Late Late Show. <laughs> to judge you, but if your children are up late, late, then maybe the problem is no television! <laughs> <laughs> CBS cares. 